Hello everyone and today I'm gonna teach you how to get pixel color and set pixel color for anywhere on the screen so you can get pixel color from here 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 anywhere and you can set pixel color for here here or you can turn your whole display into black or blue green anything you want so first I have included windows.h over here and our stream and conio.h and also using namespace std in main method i have nothing but get ch so first thing you want to do is go to tools if you are in dev c++ and go to compiler options and you will be shown with this nice beautiful window and in the bottom section over here you type space dash lgdi32 which will be helping us doing our handling function thing and pixel thing so press ok and if you are in different compiler make sure you check it out on net how to add custom linkers in your program so firstly we need to get a device context of the display so we need to make variable thingy called hdc now this will not go yellow cause this is not inbuilt variable like integer star this variable is from windows.h so name it anything i am naming it dng and set it equal to get dc and press null in it null means screen and then type really is dc and null comma d and g and in between those now as you can see this will do nothing if you compile it and run it nothing clearly nothing so first i will teach you how to get color from a pixel so in there you can type get p i x e l don't type color in front of get pixel and then bracket and then d n g device context and then press comma and int x and y means x pixel and y pixel so you can put a variable in it or you can just give it a fixed value which i'm gonna do is um, cause i know thousand x and 500 y is gonna be this color on which i am typing cause uh, if you know this is 1920 means thousand will be somewhere over here and 500 down will be somewhere over here so i know that is gonna be this color so we can check it in paint.net now if you will do this and run this you will get nothing cause of course you are not seeing anything in console window so you need to see out them while see outing you can't like see out get pixel you need to store it in color variable so which is also from windows i mean you can use this function directly but i'm gonna store it anyways so type color and ref in front of it this means color reference and then uh, name it i'm gonna name it c and then set it equal to get pixel that okay and then if you just type in c over there that will just print out random value so type get r value v in capital so type in c in it and this will return red value of c and that will be in character so you need to uh, do a bracket thing over here and type it int so this will now return it in int and then copy this paste this two more times and change r to g capital g yeah, and r to b so this will be returning g and this will be returning b now if i compile this and run this it will give me this values which is a uh, color so i'm launching paint.net over here to check if uh, it's the correct color and let me see it's 11 oh not 30 this is tedious let me type in values directly 29 yeah and now if i increase the brush size to like 45 you can see it's the same color yeah compare it i don't know how you can compare this but it's the same color that's a proof and now to set the color so this is set uh, getting the color and now you just have to type in set pixel p i x e l it's that simple but you need to give the display device context which is d n g 
and then pixel where it is and um, if I give it let's say thousand comma five hundred and then the color so the color you can uh, give it by RGB method and uh, let's say if you want to turn it into blue so zero zero and uh, 255 255 is the maximum value you can go with so that's the luminance of blue rgb yeah and then if i copy this thing first or remove that thing and then if i press uh, after the set pixel method oh now remember if you just set the pixel once it's not gonna be visible because uh, other things update the thing so it's not visible because uh, it's getting updated by other programs which are running like the oc plus plus so i'm gonna make it in loop for loop so that you can see it and i equal thousand semicolon i is smaller equal to thousand and ten or thousand and fifteen in semicolon i plus plus so this will start from thousand and go till that thing thousand and fifteen then again one more for and j equals five hundred semicolon j is smaller equal to five fifteen and semicolon j j plus plus so now this will loop the statement and uh, as you can see it was super quick that you guys were not able to see that uh, cause screen recorder is slow but as you can see this value this value is uh, correct cause that's blue but now if i loop this forever in while loop while true and then you can see what's the magic of loop okay so it seems like i forgot uh, to make this uh, i and j respectively so now you can see that blue box appearing randomly on the screen that's the set pixel command and that's a whole thing you want to do that's pretty small program i see and uh, once you close this it will stay over there mouse can't remove it but if you want to remove it you can update the pixels and it will get rid of it so hope you guys enjoyed this and um, don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to continue watching then uh, this is the most recommended video for you so check it out okay